Okay, let's talk about the family chords. Papa, adopted, mama, younger brother, older brother, younger sister, older sister, papa. Let's put a minor chord on, I'm grabbing the fifth fret here, uh, but I'm detuned a full step, so I'm actually tuned to D standard. To begin, we let's just start with a minor chord, and I, I call this papa. And then, moving up two frets, adopted boy is what I call it. It's basically a minor chord, but with a flatted fifth, so it ends up having this sort of diagonal line. And I, I end up just playing it fully diminished like this, kind of like what you see on textbooks, this shape right here. Although I like to let go of this and grab on up here so you have a deeper uh, bass sound. So we got Papa, we got Adopted, we got Mama. Mama's just straight major. This is Younger Brother or Dorian. And then we've got two frets higher, another, uh, another minor chord, Phrygian. And then one fret higher is Lydian, which is Younger Sister. The older sister's real name is Mixolydian. And then Papa. And by then we've gone a full octave so to recap, Papa, adopted, Mama, younger brother, older brother, younger sister, older sister, Papa. And then you'd have another adopted, and then Pop, or excuse me, Mama. But now we're out of frets, so. So that's the entire family of chords. What we have here is Papa would start the first row bridge set. I've created this little program so you can kind of see that. Papa is these notes, so you'd bar this with your index and hold these with your other fingers, and it starts the first row bridge set. That's how I uh, locate, that's how I connect the uh, spiral mapping map to where Papa's root lives. So, um, and the advantage of calling this chord Papa is that it gives you the whole map. If you know that Papa starts the first row bridge set, then I have basically geolocated your entire world for you because you should know that Papa lives here and therefore adopted boy lives right here. He starts a first row headset. And uh, we'll talk about this chord. It's not possible to hold this chord very comfortably, but there are other ways. This is probably the MVP uh, the least known or used chord probably of the entire family, but at the same time the most valuable player when you know how to employ it. And we'll talk about that soon. Mama starts the second row triple block. See that right there? It's the first note of the second row triple block. And that's the shape. Notice the female here has the matriarch has this difference from Papa. If you look at the chord for Papa, this is the third uh, of the scale and it actually corresponds to this note right here but it makes it a minor chord all the males in the family have this shape and all the females have this shape let me turn papa back off now we go to younger brother and just as you should expect it looks just like papa let me get rid of this shape it looks just like papa the patriarch of the family it has that male shape so there's a few, two things going on here what you should be paying attention to is the root note and the shape or gender, I guess, is this note right here. Uh, since I've decided to relate these chord shapes to their gender, that would be the note that actually makes the difference. Um, otherwise, they're just the same. Now, younger brother is right here, two frets higher and he starts the second row bridge set. So Papa actually started the, the first row bridge set right here, and um, younger brother starts the second row, which actually means there's a younger brother chord sitting right here, and it only looks slightly different because of the shift. Remember that when you cross this line right here, it shifts everything that used to be in alignment scoots over one. That's why it doesn't look the same as this. So let me turn that back off. All right, so younger brother starts the second row bridge set. Older brother, two frets higher, starts the f second row headset. Yeah, right there. And looks just like all the rest of the males in the family. 
And then we have younger sister. And notice younger sister is only one fret higher from uh, older brother. And she starts the third row triple block right there. Yeah, same shape as all the other females in the family. And then we have older sister. And she starts the first row triple block. You can see it right there. First row triple block. Same shape as all the females. And then after that, we just get right back to Papa. Because we've basically reach the octave. So what you need to learn is their relative distances. Know that Papa would be two frets away from adopted and one fret away from Mama would be, uh, or, or I should say, adopted is two frets higher from Papa and then Mama is one fret higher than that. Might as well show them. And then uh, two frets higher is younger brother, two frets higher is older brother, one fret higher is younger sister, and then two frets higher is older sister. It might be worth your trouble to just remember that the only two places where they're close together are these two spots right here. The rest, so when in doubt, it's a full step. But, of course, you don't have to guess. You'd, you'd keep track of where you are in the map, and you'd know these are separated by a half step. Okay, so that is the map. There's huge benefits to um, thinking of them as these family members. For example, uh, if I go here, Papa adopted, and in this case I'm playing the root and third, and the third would be like the gender, if you will. So adopted boy is a boy, so it's Papa, so they're both like that. And then uh, Mama is female, so we've got that shape. And then male So, some of the benefits, uh, as I said, I used to play these shapes and get lost. You know, I might go and then be like, oh my god, what was that? But when you start thinking about who they are, uh, you can figure out their root and then their gender. And so... I guess that's an illustration of why one way that, that uh, the generic naming system helps is that if you thought of these as Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, there's no, there's no connection to the gender that way. If you say Papa, then you're thinking, okay, boy, so it's a minor chord. And then if you think Mama, that's a girl, so, or female, so that's got that shape. All the females have the same shape, and all the males have the same shape. So that is family of chords. Our heart, like torches in